Well, hi there, everyone. Chief Meteorologist Norm Van Ness at the NBC 24 Weather Center. You can see this big swirling storm moving through the Great Lakes. This is the uh, really the same disturbance that caused all the problems out toward the West Coast uh, as we went into the upcoming weekend. Uh, obviously, a lot weaker moving up into our neck of the woods, but still plenty of moisture. Some rain showers today, plenty of cloud cover, and the winds will be increasing as this system starts to move out of our area. And the colder air is really set now to start moving in as we head through tonight and into the day tomorrow. You can see some of that colder air back to our north and west. So really the high temperature for tomorrow will probably happen right after midnight. We'll stay in the low 30s as we hem through much of the day tomorrow. So tonight it's kind of a crossed up deal here. Uh, the overnight low temperature right as we get towards sunrise will bottom out near 30. It'll stay breezy here through the evening and the showers will be coming to an end this evening as well. So as we cross the midnight hour, the temperatures are going to still probably be in the mid 30s. So that'll be your official high for the day tomorrow. But we'll wake up uh, tomorrow morning with numbers near 30 degrees and then only rise maybe one or two degrees going through the afternoon. So hovering close to the freezing mark as we head through much of the day tomorrow. Still breezy, so the wind chill still a factor as we head through the day on Wednesday. We're going to stay cool through the rest of the work week and we're starting to monitor a potential storm as we head toward the uh, Christmas Eve time frame. We'll have more on that and the rest of your forecast details coming up tonight on NBC 24 News at 11 o'clock. Make sure you're with us at.